Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I was trying to film earlier because I wanted to beat the heat, but people decided to cut the grass this morning, so I had to wait a little bit. But anyways, I'm back to do a, another video. Yesterday I had filmed, but it didn't work out. My microphone died on me and then I had to, the battery just didn't wanna work. I don't know what the hell, so anyways. Today I have a brand new video, so let's go ahead and get started. Fall is coming, so I wanted to start getting ready for fall. You guys know I love fall makeup looks, so I'm going to go ahead and do a few fall looks. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be using the Makeup Geeks palettes. I'm going to be using two because I'm using some shadows from this palette. And I'm going to see some shadows from this palette. You can definitely check them out. I'll link them down below. And you can use Pretty Grace for some money off if you guys are interested. You can also get them as single shadows. But honestly, getting them in a palette, I think it's amazing. So yeah, definitely check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and I already primed my lids. I used the new um, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin um, Concealer to do my eyes. I would have loved if I would have got it like in a lighter shade. Um, but... Yeah, so that's what I'm using in my eyes right now. I already went ahead and did my brows. I actually did my brows using the Brow Power Filler. This is a new product from A Cosmetics. Girl, I'm over here using new products. So, um, yeah, I'm using this one. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start off. I'm actually going to bring out my shadows. So I'm going to be using the orangey shadows from this palette right here I'm not gonna take them out but I'll link things down below just because I don't want to mess up the palette because it did come broken and then you know it's all dirty now so I'm going to be using these two shadows first and they're gonna go on my crease I'll put this down here so I'm gonna use the orangey shade and I'm gonna start building that on my crease I cannot wait for fall. I am like super excited. I'm over the heat. I can't. I don't like the heat. So I'm going to be mixing both oranges and start applying them right on the crease, bringing that inwards. Build that color. You guys can see if we get fallout, it's okay. That's why I didn't do my foundation or anything because I want it to get messy. And if I do get messy, I want to be able to like just clean it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just packing that color. Right there. I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab. what I want to do to be honest with you guys I'm gonna grab the two orangey and a, like a reddish color these two right here at the bottom I'll name them down below for you guys uh, just to apply those right onto the crease as well then I'm gonna go back with another brush and I'm going to grab from the other palette I'm actually going to grab some of the brown shadows. These two right here. And I'm just going to apply those right onto my crease. Just to darken it up a little bit. Give it a little bit of depth. So. Depth. Not death, guys. So I'm just blending that in here. Gonna add a little bit more of the browns and just apply them. All right, I'm gonna go back with the same shadows that are applied, and then I'm just gonna blend out the harsh lines. It's okay if it looks messy. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up anyway. So I just wanted to kind of apply these colors. To do that. And then go back again and just blend. I'm 
feel like I can add a little bit more of the darkness. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the dark brown right here. And just start packing those colors in like that. All right, so I went ahead and I added glitter. I wasn't planning on adding glitter, but I was like, you know what? I haven't done glitter in a while, so I did use the eye candy glitter. I have no idea what color or name this is because this was like given to me woo, like a long time ago, and I believe they didn't have the colors on the product. I have not yet correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. It looks like a fall orangey green glittery. I don't want to tilt it because it's going to fall and then I'm going to cry. But it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. Um, so anyways, I applied that onto the lid and then I did some eyeliner. I applied these lashes. These are from Beauty and Glam and these are in the style Toxica. So yeah, so I did that. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye. I'm actually going to fast forward it because you guys saw me do it already so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it and yeah all right so i'm gonna go ahead and add some eyeliner real quick because one of my cameras is dying so i'm gonna add some eyeliner like a little wing a little bit just to give me something all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and add my toxica lashes I really like the name Toxica. All right, so for eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Japanesca. I think this is like a dark brown shade. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my waterline. Right, nothing drastic. I uh, forgot to get my mascara out. Good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some mascara just to help these lashes a little bit to bond with my real ones. This one's not completely dry, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna add some mascara to the bottom lashes. All right. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my foundation. I already did my, um, this lash is not dry yet. Um, I'm actually going to use my Morphe foundation. I mix these two together. Or I could use this. I think I'll use this today, actually. So I'm just going to use this. This one is in the color Hint of Almond. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. gonna add a little bit more because I am a full coverage girl and I need me some coverage so I'm just going to blend this out I really don't apply too much on my forehead. I just kind of concentrate it more on my cheeks. I feel like that's where I like to have my full coverage. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is like very sheer. There we go. I'm actually going to add a little bit of this other one just to kind of 
cover any little red or pimples that I had because I feel like the other one is like a little too sheer for me for my liking all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add some concealer I'm gonna use this one it's a little too it's not light enough but I mean hey I like it so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to under my eyes here bridge of my nose here here and here Should have done my under eye makeup after I did my concealer, but it's okay. I'll redo it right now. Right, and just up here as well. Honestly, I like how my eyebrows came out today. They really look good. Let me know if you guys would like a tutorial on the eyebrows. It's so easy to do. Alright. I need to blend this all out. Alright. Alright, that looks good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set. I'm going to use my Peach Perfect Setting Powder to set. And this e.l.f. sponge. It's weird because I haven't received no PR from like e.l.f. I think they took me off their PR list. Wow. All right. So I'm just going to go and set under the eyes. My nose. And just set all this here then I'm gonna go with a brush and just set the rest of my face I'm gonna use this big-ass Morphe brush just to set everything Grab a smaller brush for under the eyes. All right. I'm gonna grab my brush and go back with that orangey shade and kind of just blend that out here because since I um apply my concealer, I kind of messed it up a little bit, so I just need to redo it. There we go. So for blush, I'm using Too Faced Apricot in the Act. Just a little orangey moment. And then to contour, actually, I'm going to use my favorite uh, Sully Batant. I hit pan already. Again. I need to get another one. Right. Bring it up here. And then do it again here. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend this out. I just kind of outline first where I want everything to be in place and then I go back and blend everything out. Okay. 
Then I go back with my brush and then just kind of blend everything just to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my MAC powder and just kind of clean out right here so the line is more defined. Her cream with a gloss on top because these are like uh, matte. So this is what it looks like with a nude lip. I'm gonna add this gloss from MAC, it's an old one. Just to make it glossy. So that's that. All right, so for the dark combo, this one's gonna be a nibble from Morphe. Alright guys, so here is the final look. This is with a darker lip. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Let me know if you guys are excited for fall because honestly, I am so over this heat. I just wanted to start being cold and rainy so we can do hot chocolate, cozy at home, you know. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. Um, don't forget to comment. And subscribe like I said and don't forget to leave me some love down below I love you guys and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys